Former presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy is here. All right, Vivek, uh, this thing they say is tight. Uh, every vote counts. Uh, what are you feeling and what are you hearing? So look, Jesse, I'm going to tell it to you like I see it. There's two possibilities here. Is One is we all have our heads stuck in our algorithmic echo chambers and we're seeing one view of the world. And I'd like to think that's not the case. The other possibility, which I think is going to be the case, is that Trump wins this decisively. And I think he has an opportunity to do something historic, not just win an election, but to actually rebuild the Republican coalition, a multi-ethnic, working-class coalition of voters that have redefined the Republican Party, that does what Reagan last did in the 1980s. That's the last time I think we will have seen this kind of election. So I hope I'm not eating my words 48 hours or 72 hours from now, but I don't think I will be. I think that we're seeing the makings of history right now. And I think it could be the single event that not only wins this election, but unites the country. And that's why I'm encouraging everybody I'm talking to. I was in Pennsylvania. I was at the Penn State, Ohio State game. I was telling people the same thing is November 5th is not the destination. It is the start line for reviving this country. I think people are hungry for it. And I think we feel pretty good, Jesse. Well, I hope you're right. Uh, no one wants you to be more right than I do, Vivek. But in 2022, we all thought it was going to go one way. Kind of didn't. Sure. Women showed up big. The, the candidates didn't really perform like they thought we would. Uh, is that a possibility this time, that we just don't see the wave of women coming? Look, making the predictions as of today, anybody's predictions are fair game, Jesse. I'm focused on what we can do to actually change that outcome, right? And this is in the hands of actual everyday Americans. In particular, I think one thing that's going to swing this election, unlike any other, is Gen Z turnout, especially in places like Pennsylvania. I was at that football game on Saturday. I was on college campuses in Pennsylvania the prior week beforehand. I think we're going to see Gen Z turnout like we haven't seen in a very long time. If they come out in droves, and what I'm seeing is a big turn amongst young voters to Trump in a way that hasn't been true for Republicans in a generation, if not ever. And if they actually show up, these first-time so-called low-propensity voters, I think that could be the margin here. If they don't show up, I think it's a different story. And so I'm less focused on making the predictions and more focused on what we can do to actually get the outcome that we know is right for the country. And especially for Gen Z. I mean, if we're in World War III, it's going to be somebody else's gun over their shoulder. It's going to be the national debt that falls on their shoulder. So in many ways, they have the most skin in the game. They have the lightest voting participation in the past. I think they're going to come out in droves for Trump if they come out. And so our focus right now is less than sitting back and making the predictions, actually driving the kind of voters we need to get to the ballot box and secure victory and, I think, save this country. We're hearing a lot about New Hampshire all of a sudden. We're hearing stuff about Virginia, uh, New Jersey. A little birdie told Trump something about New Jersey. Uh, what are those little things telling you? Well, look, I think one of the things that we've seen from Donald Trump this cycle, which is unique, is he's not just going to the traditional swing states. I mean, we were together at that, at that Madison Square Garden rally in supposedly hard blue New York with 200,000 people lined up outside. And so what we're seeing across the country, and I think this is true to the campaign, Donald Trump and the Republicans that are running for office, we're not just running to lead one party, to lead, lead red states, but to lead the United States. And so I think it's a beautiful thing. Donald Trump is making that stop in Virginia speaking about New Jersey, showing up in the middle of New York City, hard Manhattan would, would have been unimaginable before. That's the opportunity ahead of us is to unite a nation. That's what's at stake here. The Democrats are playing divide and conquer. You look at the identity politics they, game they've played all the way to selecting the top of their ticket, and for that matter, identity politics and selecting Tim Walls as their VP. We're rejecting that, and I do think that there's a special opportunity here. We're all going to be thrilled if Donald Trump wins on election night, as we expect. There's only one person who I think could be more thrilled than any of us, Jesse, and that's probably Joe Biden. That's a matter for another day. <laughs> but I do think that we are going to have a winning coalition here that unites the country, maybe even Joe Biden along with us. All right. Well, like you said, it really is about voters seizing the opportunity themselves. Vivek Ramaswamy going to football games and closing hard. Thanks, Vivek. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.